place was swarming with cops. But they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. Renathugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shoot shoot out at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second.
This wasn't such a good spot to enjoy the view. I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. <laughs> 